Hey South Highland family, I am Court Gatliff, Assistant Minister for Discipleship, and on behalf of the entire South Highland staff, I am excited to welcome you back into our sanctuary for corporate in-person worship starting on November 1st. Before I go over those details, I want to say thank you for the many ways that you have sacrificed and loved one another and our community during this challenging time. Many of you have stepped up to support our ministries and they have continued to move forward, and we could not have done it without you. Over the last few months, our coronavirus task force, which is made up of members of our church staff, elders and deacons, medical professionals, and various members of the congregation, has been gathering each week to pray, to consult the relevant data of what's going on in our community, to listen to public health officials, and to see what other churches are doing to keep their congregation safe as we consider how and when we can safely reopen. All of these considerations have led us to November 1st, which also happens to be All Saints Day. We are committed to your safety, and so we have adopted a number of practices that will help us to ensure your health. We will have one in-person service at 8.30 a.m. Seating for this service will be limited and require a reservation. For now, we will not be gathering physically for the 11 a.m. service, but we will still live stream that service and invite you to join us to worship online. We require attendees to wear masks at all times. If you forget your mask, that's okay. We will be happy to provide one for you. You can park along Highland Avenue or in any of our parking lots, but we're gonna ask that you use the side entrance into the sanctuary along Richard Arrington Boulevard. Uh, the doors will be propped open and there will be hand sanitizer at the entrance that you can use as you make your way inside. Pews will be marked so you know where you're allowed to sit. And as challenging as it might be, please refrain from hugging or greeting each other with a handshake so that we can continue to maintain that six feet of social distance. And we will not be passing the offering plate, but there will be baskets throughout the sanctuary where you can give your offering. The door up by the CDC, up at the Port Cacher, will be available for those of you with limited mobility and you can access the elevator through that door. There will be an usher posted at that door who will hold it open for you and help you as you make your way inside. We'll enjoy the musical offerings from the musicians and the choir on the chancel, but for now we will be refraining from singing as a congregation. We invite you to use this time to meditate on the words of the hymns. And while the nursery will be closed, please know that children are more than welcome in our sanctuary. We ask that children over two years old wear masks. We know this means that there might be more squirming in the pews than usual or noises from our youngest worshipers, but that's okay. That is part of what it means to be worshiping together as the body of Christ. For now, we're allowing up to 40 worshipers in the sanctuary, so please help us plan for how many people to expect by registering by emailing reservation at southhighland.org. If you're considered a high risk, or if you're showing any symptoms of sickness at all, or if you've been exposed to someone in the last 14 days who tested positive to the coronavirus, we ask that you stay home and join us for worship online at 11 a.m. We thank you for your patience as we adapt to this new way of worshiping together. It's definitely strange and maybe frustrating at times, but I'd like to encourage you. Throughout the history of the church, Christians have been gathering and have endured pandemics, wars, social unrest, and much, much more. And we will also get through this season because God is faithful to his promises and God is faithful to his people. We look forward to seeing you soon.